Thank you for inviting me to give an address to this forum on basic sciences for sustainable development. Let me share with you a short presentation. My name is Michel Spiro. I am the president of the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics, IUPAP, and the chair of the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development in 2022. This International Year is under the auspices of UNESCO and has been proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly in December 2021. The rationale behind this International Year is given in this short video made by CERN, starring in it my grandniece, Eloise Goldberg, 13 years old. Enjoy. <laughs> Curiosity about the world around us is what makes us human. This desire to make sense of the world is the driving force behind fundamental science. Stirred by this curiosity, each new generation of scientists adds to the pool of knowledge built up by previous generations. We are at a crucial time for the future of our planet. Now, more than ever, it is imperative to use this pool of knowledge to help solve the global problems we face and pave the way for a more sustainable development. And we must not stop being curious. Future generations will be inspired by the knowledge we contribute today, equipping them with the powerful tools they need to build a better world. I hope you have enjoyed. So examples. Uh, which uh, illustrate what was uh, said. Vaccines and treatments against COVID-19 are full of basic biology. The web was born at CERN from the needs of fundamental science. Google research engine comes from a brilliant mathematical idea. Artificial intelligence relies on statistical methods. Cellular phones are full of transistors, integrated circuits. GPS relies on Einstein's theory of relativity and on quantum atomic clocks. The genome project has opened the way to gene therapies. PET scan and MRI are based on antimatter physics and imaging. Generation and storage of renewable energy depends on advances in physics, chemistry, and materials science. Reduction in pollution and green chemistry rely on basic advances in chemistry. The second, second quantum revolution is having now applications. Uh, at the opening ceremony of this international year, a concluding statement uh, was made. Basic sciences and curiosity are curiosity and inquiry driven. They are the foundations of education and the sources of discoveries which turn into applications. They can then serve an inclusive, sustainable development, improving global equity and well-being together with a healthy and lively planet. All together, education, discoveries, applications, and inclusive, sustainable development can boost collaborative and open basic sciences. This is the, the virtuous circle that we want to promote during the inter International Year of Basic Sciences for sustainable development and after. To achieve this goal, we shall need you, teachers, scientists, the private sector, decision makers, and society at large to share this vision and act accordingly. Global challenges, uh, they are a bit frightening, as you know, uh, climate, uh, biosphere, uh, biodiversity, uh, water, uh, health, Global challenges approaches have to go from component to system approach, from local to global approach, from short term to long term approach, involving open science and the society at large. As I said, they are frightening, but they are a unique opportunity to cooperate and build a better world. Following further the current international mobilization, laws and treaties should be enacted towards these goals based on a dialogue between all stakeholders including scientists. 
Thank you very much. I want to thank all of you and uh, repeat, yes, we can. Thank you for your attention and have a good forum.